on this Indianapolis road trip stopped at a uh, antique store and things were priced reasonably there. I mean, they weren't all out of price. Some of the things were a little high, but it was, uh, it was, the prices were fair. Anyway, I picked something up in that antique store here and, uh, so I'm going to get this, go through and repaint it all. And, and, uh, the, it had like LED things in there that were taped in that weren't correct. You can see where it originally had like a socket probably with a bulb face in each way that attached to an electrical box. So I'm going to uh, re-electrify this, repaint it all, clean it up, repaint it, and uh, hang it above one of my doors so it works. And I'm going to just leave it as is. I'm not going to knock out. You can see there's for the light below the door and you can see where there's knockouts for arrows which I am not going to knock out obviously but yeah both ends open so I'm going to repaint the inside and the, this white and in the case just like it is and electrify it this is white all of it so I'm going to take this off I'm just going to drill these little rivets out and disassemble it so I can uh, paint it. I got a uh, glass and everything out there so let me get to drilling some rivets and I'll give this a bead blast and a paint. It only takes a couple seconds to drill these rivets out when they don't twirl. There we go. There we go, all the uh, panels are apart. I'm going to do this one first because that's all white. This, like I say, i got to get a socket, so I'll do that last. And I'll do this one and this one right now. And and uh, then when I get a socket, I'll do that one. It'll only take a minute or two. I was trying to see if that was legible, but all I can see is a UL marking on it right there. I don't know if that shows up. Let me... See if the sun helps. I don't know if the sun helps any or not, but yeah, that sticker is basically not legible, so I'm not going to save it. It's kind of a worthless with how bad a shape it's in. sandblasting this whole bed I just thought I would bead, this is 80 grit glass beads so I just thought I'd give you a quickie of what I'm doing here this will make the exit sign so much better with fresh paint on it alright the air compressor kicked on so the noise is annoying so anyway let me uh turn you off and finish cleaning this stuff up. That is ready for paint. And so are all the other bits and pieces here. Yep, cleaned up really nice. And then this back, which I'm not going to paint yet, so I'm just going to leave that in the cabinet because that's a good safe place for it until I get a light fixture. I'll go to the hardware here shortly and see if I can find something to put a light fixture on, on that that'll fit in this narrow space or maybe a couple C7 sockets that go this way or something.
Yeah, it came out pretty good. This is rattle can painted. Yep, looking good. That's the final coat of white. I picked up a couple of little C7 sockets at the hardware. I didn't have anything like that, but I'm going to weld them together like this. Just tack them there and tack it there, and then I'm going to tack some sheet metal or something to the to this somewhere that I can tack these two so these will be right there and that'll be perfect. And you may think, oh, night lighter C7 bulbs aren't going to be bright enough. Well, believe me, when I'm done, it'll be plenty bright for what the bulbs I'm going to put in. They're LED that I got and they're sewing machine bulbs so they're got a decent brightness to them. So let me uh, get these tacked together and we'll make something that way I can get this painted. So I welded, let me turn the welder on up here really quick. Alright, so I welded, just tack welded these two sockets together. Then I'm going to weld them right over that hole, that's dead center. And I'm not going to be running anything through the back here because I want this to be flush against the wall. So I'm just going to weld this right here and I'll run the wire out the side of the box. Let's see if you're kind of, there's like knockouts and drill holes. So I'll get a rubber grommet and run the wire out the side wherever I decide and I might even put a little switch on it so I can turn it on and off. I'll take it outside and blow a coat of white on all that and then We'll worry about the wiring and the switch and everything once all the paint's dry. But we're going to get this outside white. The back side's got to be black, but we're going to do the white first. We'll let that dry a couple days and we'll paint the black and wire it up. I think in the meantime I'll hunt up some switches and some wire and whatnot. I am going to put a little turn switch on it, I do believe. Well, after a bunch of hunting around for a while, I found my bag of switches. I also found a spare, a spare bulbs for my front door Christmas wreath at Christmas that I couldn't find at Christmas time. Five months later, I found them. But anyway, this is the what the switch looks like. It's just a simple on-off switch. Nothing much to it. And a uh, plug that the cord will come out the side. I'm going to use a white cord, obviously because the walls are white. I'm undecided which door I'm going to hang it over, the back one or the front one, which will make a difference which side these go on. So I'm just going to kind of just hold off now. But anyway, i got to get the black painted and then do the wiring and everything last. Gave that a coat of satin black. It's still wet, so that's why it's glossy, but it'll dry to a satin. And I'm going to wait. I ordered these grommet things you put a wire through you know the, like see them on box fans anyway you squeeze the wire push them in so I can run I'm, I ordered a black one black ones to match this but it's going to be a white cord because it's going to be against a white wall and I'm going to put a switch on it so after I drill all the holes in this Monday or Tuesday whenever those parts come in I'll uh, paint this black too and then it's ready to wire up assemble them and mount, I'm gonna probably mount it right where that license plate is over that. Back door is kind of what I'm thinking. Just soldered up all uh, and installed the wiring for my little light here. So this gold, which is your hat, which is the bottom terminal in this, goes to this and over to the switch. So that will be the black or the hot and the alternating current. And then this other wire here will be the neutral and that goes to the silver, which is the outer pin on there. And then all I got to do is put the lamp cord on. I got to drill the holes in this. I'm waiting on the little plastic grommet to run the power cord through. I guess I could solder the power cord on just as long as I don't put the plug end on it, which I might do. These are the bulbs I'm going to use. These are actually sewing machine bulbs in a C7 base. Their LED, this is what they are. Does that show up in the video? Hopefully it does. There, I have them in my uh, grinder here. And they've been in there for 
at least 10 years. Look at that. They're both, both work great. They give me a light to where I can see what I'm doing when I'm grinding. I put my little, it says wall hugger on it. I put my little wall hugger plug on and I put it so the this spade here is the black or the one that goes to the center when it's plugged in like so. So let's plug it in and uh, see if we have, uh, there you go, lights up. So we got it powered up. So I got these little cord things I was talking about. So this just folds over and, you know, pushes on the thing to hold the wire. And it was takes a half inch hole. I got my caliper out and measured it. Well, there was a knockout on here, exactly a half inch. So I knocked that out. I might put the switch in one of these holes. I'm going to hold it up and kind of see where I would like it. I'm going to hold it up where I'm going to put it. But, you know, that'll be mounted like so. And if, you know, if you want to, um, the cord to come out the other way, you just switch those ends end for end, and then it'll hang this way. So I might just put the switch right here as opposed to down here. I think it would look a little nicer. We'll see when I'm done drilling the hole where it's going. I measured the switch with my caliper and uh, whoops. Get it yet. There we go. Anyway, you're probably not gonna be able to see, but that's about what the what that measures and I'm going to use this drill bit which is just slightly larger so that'll uh, allow me room to you know get the switch through there that's where I'm going to put the switch I held it up to the wall I like it right there getting ready to paint the outer case a nice coat of uh, satin black that looks pretty good kind of just hung it up there it's still wet so it'll dry a little duller there we go now that's LED in there so if it looks like it's flickering it's really not and those two bright spots in the E and the T don't really look bright when you're looking at it but yeah so it's got a switch So I can turn it off and I just ran the cord down around the door there for now. Eventually I'm going to trim this out. That's why I put it the height I did because the trim's going to come to about there, right in there around the door. And then I can tack this to the side of the trim once the trim's on, you know, just, just kind of down and around. And uh, I use, you know, that'll make a nice night light. I use this as a night light too and I don't know if that shows as flickering sometimes in the in the video they show us flickering but at night I'll put it down to like that's 10 percent and it's still sometimes pretty bright but I usually run it at 50 which is there and that's 100 if it's really bright out I'll put it 100 percent typically I run it around 50 60 that's 60 percent I'll leave it there but there's the exit sign and close the door here so there. A little shine down on the exit. Super cool. I like it. And I had to rearrange the signs in the garage. I got this one from Martin. Thank you, Martin. You get a so that sign is for that car. And the Auto 100 was the, I drove that 35 one and a half ton farm truck. That I restored for Wolcott Metro Park in the in the Auto 100 parade, and I got that and uh, another one that's real thick porcelain steel. So I took the old car alley that was there and just stuffed it up over here for now. I didn't see any sense, you know. We don't need two, right? You know. So anyway, that's there now. So there we go. Just wanted to kind of show you what I'm doing here. I haven't done anything with this in a while. I'm, I'm, it, there's a lot of cottonwood seeds in the air and bugs, so there's no way I can 
paint on this now. So I'll just maybe wait and then ride it. I got everything, everything straightened out on it. I'm just waiting on the registration from the state, but I've ridden it around the block and it was, I think, I don't know, I, uh, it'll be in videos. And I got a little video of riding around the block. We'll do that too, just to give you a little update of what's going on here. But anyway, there we go. We got the antique store exit sign completely done. I'm super happy with it. It looks nice. Mounted up there. I'll get the, hopefully get the doors trimmed out yet this year. I want to do them last winter. I need a table saw and my brother's got picked up this portable one so I'm gonna drag it down here maybe this winter and hopefully trim out the windows and doors. If you like the video of me restoring that antique store find exit sign, hit the thumbs up icon. That will definitely help me out as I'm, you know, wrapping this video up here. And the thumbs up, the more they get, the more comments I get, the more views my video will get. And if you like my channel, that 348 engine icon will help you subscribe. And thank you for watching my video.